let us try to mix oil and water is it possible to mix them let's find out stir the mixture or shake it vigorously you will find that if you keep the mixture undisturbed for some time the oil does not get mixed with water rather it floats at the top of the water now why i am talking about oil and water suddenly this is because i want to express that oil is insoluble in water thus if there is any accidental discharge of oil in water then it will always remain at the surface of water for long now this accidental discharge or release of oil like crude oil or petroleum into large water bodies say oceans or seas etc is known as oil spill so oil spill refers to accidental release or discharge of crude oil or petroleum into large water bodies this picture depicts the case of an oil spill here we see that the oil floats on the surface of a water body as a discrete mass because oil as i mentioned is insoluble in water now let me give you a real life example of an oil spill a horrible oil spill occurred in the gulf coast of us on 20th april 2010 the natural gas present in the oil well exploded and triggered a massive fire now due to this fire that broke out immediately 11 workers were killed and 17 others were injured after two this of this incident the oil platform submerged under water and it led to a massive release of 134 tons of oil into the water bodies so the entire gulf coast was covered with oil as a result oil company called was bp oil company which was responsible for this incident had to pay a compensation of dollar 65 billions to the local inhabitants who were dependent on the gulf for their livelihoods we just now watch a real life incident of an oil spill that occurred in the gulf coast of us on 28 april 2010 now oil spill can occur due to various anthropogenic activities like rupture of large oil transporting vessel like oil tankers now we know that oceans and seas are storehouses of crude oil, natural gas, petroleum etc. So oil will are dug in the seabed to extract these valuable resources. Now it sometimes it so happens that these crude oil or petroleum get released into the water bodies due to reckless oil drilling operations. So oil spill that is accidental release of oil into the water bodies can occur due to various anthropogenic activities like rupture of oil tankers or reckless offshore drilling. Now these activities release substantial quantity of oil onto the surface of saline water bodies and pollutes them. Thus oil spill leads to pollution of saline water bodies like seas or oceans. Now apart from oil spill there are other factors that lead to the pollution of saline water bodies. Let's know about them. We know fresh water bodies like rivers, streams etc connect or join larger water bodies or saline water bodies like seas or oceans now when these fresh water bodies connect or join saline water bodies they also dump the waste that are carried by them for instance fresh water bodies carry various pollutants like garbage waste sewage agricultural runoffs industrial effluents etc now these pollutants that are carried by fresh water bodies like rivers streams etc are known as fresh water pollutants 
Now these fresh water pollutants are eventually dumped into saline water bodies when a river joins a larger water body say a sea or an ocean. Now apart from fresh water pollutants dumping of plastics also pollute saline water bodies. This is because the plastics are either dumped into saline water bodies directly or they are dumped in fresh water bodies which are eventually carried to saline water bodies. So fresh water pollutants and dumping of plastics lead to pollution of saline water bodies. Now this process of degradation or contamination of saline water bodies like seas, ocean etc due to release of unwanted toxic substances into them is known as marine pollution. Now we know the word marine stands for saline water bodies or simply salty water bodies like seas or ocean. So this process where there is a degradation or contamination of saline water bodies is known as marine pollution. Now as I have mentioned previously various sources of marine pollution are fresh water pollutants, dumping of plastics and oil spill. So till now we have discussed about the meaning of marine pollution and various sources of marine pollution. Now, we shall now discuss about various effects of marine pollution. Now, before we proceed with our lesson, let us try to answer this. The degradation of saline water bodies due to release of unwanted substances into them is known as soil pollution, fresh water pollution, marine pollution or oil spill. The correct answer is marine pollution. Degradation of saline water bodies due to release of unwanted substances as we just discussed is known as marine pollution. So the correct option is marine pollution. We shall now discuss about various harmful effects of marine pollution. Now an important source of marine pollution as we know is oil spill. Now this oil is insoluble in water so it floats on the top of the water bodies as a discrete mass. Now this oil lowers the availability of oxygen in the water bodies. This is because oil disrupts the vertical circulation of gases between air and water bodies. As a result, the supply of oxygen in water bodies decreases. Now this directly affects marine life because we know just like us, the marine animals also breathe in oxygen. So reduction in the amount of oxygen affects the marine animals. Apart from this, the oil also blocks the sun rays. As a result, the aquatic plants cannot prepare their food because the process of photosynthesis that is the process in which the plants prepare their food depends on sunlight. So in absence of sunlight, aquatic plants cannot prepare their food. So not only marine animals but aquatic plants also gets affected due to oil spill. Now oil spill also physically harms aquatic life because the oil coats on the wings and skin of these marine animals. Now this incident is known as oiling. Due to excessive oiling, these animals cannot perform their basic activities like flying or swimming. So the basic metabolic activities of these animals gets affected due to oil spill. Now oil also contains various toxic chemicals. The marine animals unwillingly intake these toxic chemicals which affects the internal organs of these marine animals and leads to massive death of marine animals. Also the fertility rate of these marine animals gets affected due to oil spill. So here we see that oil spill which is an important source of marine pollution affects the overall marine ecosystem. Apart from oil spill, fresh water pollutants also cause marine pollution. Now fresh water pollutants are rich in plastics and other waste. 
Now these plastics as I have mentioned earlier do not get decomposed in water and it floats or gets submerged in the water bodies and remains there for a long period of time. Now these poor animals unwillingly intake or consume these plastics. Now when these plastics enter the body of these marine animals, these plastics are not digested by the marine animals. So it hampers the internal organs of the marine animals and eventually lead to the death of marine animals. Now in these pictures you can see how the poor animals got choked due to presence of unwanted substance in the water bodies. So here we can see that plastics is not only a cause of marine pollution but it is also a major threat to marine animals. We shall now look for various ways in which we can control marine pollution because if the marine water bodies like seas and oceans gets polluted entirely then these poor animals will be left homeless. So we must take initiatives to control marine pollution. We shall now discuss various ways in which we can control marine pollution. Since oil spill is a major source of marine pollution, so our first and foremost step must be to control or mitigate oil spill. If excess oil is present in oil tankers and oil wells, then this oil must be processed for reuse. Otherwise, it can lead to oil spill. Now, we cannot control everything all the time. So, there may be cases of accidental oil spill. Now, in case of an accidental oil spill, the government and the company must take the initiative to clean oil from the surface of this water bodies. So, by adopting these steps, that is processing oil for reuse and cleaning of accidental oil spill, we would be able to control marine pollution. Now, apart from these steps, there are other ways in which we can control marine pollution. Let's look for those ways. We know plastic is a major source of marine pollution. This is because these plastics are directly dumped into saline water bodies or they are dumped into fresh water bodies like rivers or lakes which are eventually carried to saline water bodies. So, we must stop dumping of plastics or any other waste in oceans and adjoining coastal areas. Instead, we can use dustbins. So, dustbins must be installed in every coastal area so that people should throw trash, garbage and other waste in dustbins instead of throwing them in oceans or water bodies. So by not throwing waste in oceans and by using dustbins, we can control marine pollution. Since plastic is a major source of marine pollution, so we must abandon use of plastic. So we must say no to plastic. Instead of using plastics or polythene bags, we can use jute bags. Now jute is a fiber which is environment friendly and does not lead to pollution. Now instead of using plastic bottles, you can use metal bottles. Now metal bottles are preferred over plastic bottles because unlike plastics, these bottles are not disposable and they can be used again and again because these metal bottles are more durable than plastic bottles. Instead of throwing waste and garbage in water bodies, you can actually make amazing crafts from this waste. Look at these pictures. In these pictures, we can see how beautiful crafts have been made out of waste. So as an individual, you can adopt this measure to control marine pollution. So in today's video, we first understood what is oil spill. Oil spill refers to accidental release of oil onto the surface of large water bodies, especially saline water bodies, which pollutes them. Apart from oil spill, fresh water pollutants and dumping of plastics also leads to pollution of saline water bodies. Then we understood that the contamination of saline water bodies is known as marine pollution.
we also discussed about harmful effects of marine pollution and the ways in which we can control marine pollution. In our next video, we will discuss about thermal pollution. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to our 5000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests. Get all your doubt resolved instantly. Learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy but it's rewarding too so register for free now